What's up guys, F-Bomb here from F-Bomb Bike Life. And here we're going to be showing you how to swap out your stock foot pegs with these. The following video is brought to you by Also Tools. Get organized. All right, so right now we're gonna be swapping out the stock foot peg with this aftermarket one that I picked out at Amazon. If you are interested in purchasing this, you can find it in the description below. I do have the link down there. But right now we're gonna get started. First, you're gonna need your needle nose pliers and we're gonna get this cotter pin out of there. First thing you want to do, you want to bend it as much as you can, just like that. So you want to get them as straight as possible. Once you do, you pull them from one end, just like that. And we got that out of there. Once that's out of there, I prefer using the hammer, but you can use this just as well. And you want to pull this little pin out, just like that. And out comes your spring and your stock foot peg. Now what's really cool about this set that I picked up on Amazon, usually when you get a replacement foot peg, you need to reuse the pin and the cotter pin and all that. But with this, what I really like about it, it actually comes with hardware that you can use if you want to. Instead of a standard cotter pin, it'll come with this little ring that you basically just slap on there. And I'm gonna use that because that's what they sent me. But if you want to, you could always just reuse your pin and cotter pin. But since mine is a little damaged and scratched up and banged up, I'm just gonna use the hardware that they sent me. So now that we got the standard stock foot peg off, we're gonna put the new one in there. Just like that, line up the holes best you can. And just test it out, make sure it fits. It fits pretty good. Now we're gonna put this spring back in there. Now this could be tricky to some people. All right, so what you wanna do, I'm gonna place a spring in there, and that's basically how you're gonna set it. You wanna make sure that this L is coming toward the top of the foot peg, and this part is actually gonna rest on top right there. Best way to do it, hold this part down with your thumb, and basically muscle it on there. You wanna press it down the best you can. Once you get it on there, almost. There we go. And the way to test if it's working, it wants to do that. So next what we're gonna use, we're gonna use these little pins that they sent. Not exactly a cotter pin, but it's more like an end pin to keep it from coming out. So we're gonna place that on there. Put that on there. And I'm gonna use my pliers just to squeeze it on there. I can go on there a little bit more. Just want to make sure I don't want to lose these things on the freeway doing 120. There we go. It looks like it's on there pretty good. That's what it looks like. And if you ask me, it looks a lot better than this snap peg. Matches the bike a lot better too. This set comes with a little screw on. Now I do recommend that you use thread lock on these because the vibrations could make it come out. For now, I'm just gonna screw mine in. So what these are for um, is for when you start dragging knee and getting low to the ground. If you look over here, as you scrape the ground, this will hit the ground before the actual foot peg. So this is basically giving you protection from the actual foot peg getting in contact with any kind of surface in the ground, like a crack in the road or anything. Um, so this is gonna snap off before your foot peg. That's what this is for. This is for to protect you from go getting out of control while dragging your bike because people who do lean these bikes do end up sometimes hitting the pegs on the ground as they're leaning into the turn. So these are actually really cool to have. So for the right side of the bike, you're actually gonna need a grinding wheel. 
All right, so the reason why you guys are gonna need a granny wheel, if you look down here very, very closely, you see this banged rib nut that basically what they did, they mushroomed it around to where it's not gonna fall off. You do have to grind that out in order to get that pin out. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Should do it. So from here on, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to pound that out of there. We should be able to grab, if you come on this side, we should be able to grab this pin completely out. No problem. Again, watch your springs, make sure nothing flies out at you, hits you in the eye. And we're gonna release everything. And there we go. So I'm going to place this bad boy in there, just like so place this spring in there hold it down the best I can make sure your holes are lined up as close as you can get it and everything should pop into place if everything's in place like so much better now we're gonna get that little cotter pin back on there and there we go Good as new. So now we're gonna get started on the rear. Now we're gonna replace this one. Uh, this one's a little bit different because this one has a clicking mechanism. The reason behind that, if you look really deep inside, you'll see a little ball bearing touch right there. And we want that ball bearing. That's what stops it from moving back and forth. So when it goes up, it stops. Just gonna get this loose enough and go sideways. With the Allen wrench, get it off a little bit quicker. Now it's loose enough, I can get off with my fingers. Take that off. Now, when we take this off, this ball bearing is going to go flying. Like so. And that's it right there. So, if we examine this just a little bit, there's a little spring inside there is making it pop out just a little bit now the new set that we have right here comes with its own spring so we're going to throw that spring in there with the ball bearing and it's going to do the same thing it's going to spring back and forth comes this little plate now this part can be a little bit tedious so we're going to do that Hold it in place best you can. And we're just gonna slip that in there, like so. Just like that. We're gonna take the new hardware, throw it in there. Just like that. And if you see it's doing the same thing, clicking. Now once we tighten it down, you should hear the click more prominently. Put that in there, we're gonna tighten it down. Now, if we did it right, we should hear a click. So, that should do it, that should work. So that's how you do it. This is how you swap out your stock foot pegs with new ones. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions regarding the foot pegs, or tools or techniques that I did, um, Please comment down below and like this video and don't forget to subscribe to F-Bomb Bike Life. Till next time, thank you for joining me on this episode of F-Bomb. Peace.